Hello, in this video we're going to do a mathematics problem. We're going to determine all values of k such that okay, all values of k such that or so that f of x equals k squared x cubed minus 4kx plus 3 is divisible by x minus 1. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So basically we're going to divide it by x minus 1 using synthetic division and we're going to force the remainder to be 0 because that would mean it's divisible. It's going to be divisible by x minus 1 if the remainder is 0. So we'll, we'll use synthetic division, and then we'll look at the remainder. We'll just force it to be 0, and then see if that gives us a, solu a solution for k. So solution. You start by switching the sign here. So I'm going to put a 1 here and a little bracket. Then you want to write down the coefficients of f of x. So the coefficient of x cubed is k squared. Uh, the coefficient of, uh, oh, I, I typoed here. There's an x missing. Uh, the coefficient of uh, x squared is zero, it's not there, but you have to write it, so zero. And then the coefficient of x is minus 4k. And then here we have three, and then you draw a line. Okay, so let's just check that. Um, we have k squared, zero, negative 4k, three. The first thing you do is bring down the k squared, and then you multiply k squared times one is k squared. So we add, so we get k squared. Um, k squared times one is k squared. So we add, so we get k squared minus 4k. And I'm going to put it in parentheses just because it looks better. It's not necessary, but it's kind of nice, you know. Um, and then we multiply, so we get k squared minus 4k plus 3. And we add, <clears throat> oh, sorry, we get k squared minus 4k. And then you add, and then you get um, k squared minus 4k plus 3. All right, so now we want the uh, remainder to be uh, zero, right? So this is the remainder, so you basically set this equal to zero. So k squared minus 4k plus 3 equals zero. And we can factor this uh, simply by guessing. Uh, notice the product here, k times k is k squared. We need two numbers that multiply to 3 and add to negative 4. Well, that's going to be negative 1 and negative 3, because negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. And um, look, the inner terms, or the, the inner, negative k minus 3k, you add these, you're going to get negative 4k. So everything works out beautifully, happy face. So we have a product equal to 0, so therefore k minus 1 is 0, or uh, k minus 3 is 0. So k equals 1, or k equals 3. Uh, remember, or in mathematics is not exclusive. Uh, the exclusive or in mathematics is zor. Uh, so this or means one or the other or both. So they're both answers. Um, I know people used to have a hard time with that. I used to have a hard time with that, with or. Um, remember, it's in, an inclusive or. So in this case, both of these are going to be answers. Um, pretty cool, right? So that's how you work it out. I hope it's been helpful to you. Take care.